Hey, welcome to the next lesson. Now I need to switch to the top view and start creating the wheel suspension. To do so, I'm going to create profiles to loft. Then I will adjust these lofted profiles according to the airplane proportions. The process is going to look the same as it was with the body, tail, and wing profiles. In this case, I'm going to create the first spline, and then I will offset the profile. These two should be enough for the loft. I'm going to use the transform tool and move the bigger profile up. After that, I'm going to use the loft tool and select these two profiles. Now let's figure out the right proportions according to the airplane, which is slightly time consuming, but it's worth the effort. Select the transform tools and scale and rotate the shape you've created. Now I can adjust the body shape by dragging and dropping the face of my design. In this situation, I will just move it straight to the middle of my plane. I will switch to the top view, and then I'll drop the arrow to place the shape to the right position. It is better to do this outside of the main shape, so that you can see the center of the plane. As always, conceptual work requires many adjustments and corrections. So now I'm using the tools that you're already familiar with to move my objects to the right place. Now I'm going to mirror the first suspension to the other side of the plane. Find the mid plane for the mirror. It should be in the center of your airplane. In this case, I will use the middle profile of the wings. I am unhappy with the shape of the suspension, but I will leave it for later when I find the right proportions. Now I'm going to design a streamlined fender for my wheels. It's better to do it from the side view. I will sketch a spline around this shape. It can be any kind of spline that you can later adjust as you wish. Yet again, this is conceptual work, so you can change these profiles later. I need to compare these profiles with the whole body so that they look symmetrical and proportionate. What I am creating right now will probably be rescaled or moved later in the design process. Now I need to pull my Apple Pencil to extrude.
I would like to smooth my edges. To do so, I will select the edges and pull my pencil up or down, depending on whether I want to chamfer or fillet. Looks great. Just need to add some more adjustments. Pulling one of the faces allows me to change my designs very quickly. As you probably know, Fender is not a solid object. That's why I will use the Shell tool. I will select the faces, in this case, three faces, and tap on the Shell tool to select the right thickness. Still seems to be bigger than it should be, but I will change these settings after I create the wheel. Let's create the wheel now. I will just sketch a circle anywhere outside, and then we'll set up the proper dimensions as I am doing right now. So I'll move the circle and check if the size of the wheel is correct. Should be fine. Now I will extrude this circle by pulling the Apple Pencil. Now I will select the edges and fillet them. Now I need to have both the fender and the wheel mirrored to the other side of the plane. And I will also copy this set to the front side. Now that everything has been designed, I need to make some adjustments, in particular, moving and scaling. At this point, when I'm scaling these shapes, I need to place the pivot point to the center of my coordinate system. I'm going to make these wheels slightly smaller. As you can see, I'm relocating the pivot point and scaling according to that point. If you do not set the pivot point in the right place, the transformation can be disproportionate or asymmetrical. The very last thing is to move this face off my suspension profile. Watch the next episode to see how to create the propeller, and do not forget to subscribe.